And I do want to uh, look at this tariff thing from both sides here. Uh, businesses that benefit, businesses that do not. Adam Shapiro is live in Marsa, Missouri, with the former first. Adam. And Neil, we are at the uh, Magnitude 7 um, aluminum plant. This plant was shut down for two years. Magnitude 7 bought it. And they, because of the tariffs, have been able to bring 375 people back to work. They're looking for another 150. And when they get all of this up and running, perhaps in the next year, it could be back at full employment, almost 900 people. Take a look at what they do here, the video we shot, where they make aluminum. They're only at 20 percent, roughly, capacity right now. And it's the tariffs, the CEO, Bob Presco, will tell you, that made the difference. It's only in June that they started to ramp up production. First shipment of aluminum in two years went out of this plant just three weeks ago. Here's what Mr. Preska told me about the importance of the tariffs on aluminum. It also gives this plant a, you know, a, a viable history. If we have tariffs, we're going to be here operating. Whether that's two years, four years, it, it gives us that certainty. So, Neil, as we talk about how the 375 people have come back to work here, these are jobs that pay anywhere from $20 to $30 an hour. I spoke to one man. He worked 15 years at this plant with the old company when it went bankrupt. He was out of work for two years. He's come back to work, and clearly for Kevin Tucker, this is a positive. Here's what he told me. It's a big plus. You know, China floods the market with metal. The tariffs will help stop that, and that's what we need. We need to get more aluminum industry and steel industry back up in the United States. Get the business back here so it can be bought here instead of from coming from overseas. So, Neil, clearly the people here are very happy with the tariffs because this plant alone could have an impact on the local economy of more than $300 million. But the tariff story has another side. We're going to be heading up the road to another factory where about 100 people have been laid off because of tariffs. That is uh, mid-continent nail. We're going to talk to those people. But as, as I talk about this, I want to show you something. Just the process of making aluminum. As we zoom into this pot right here, they're making aluminum there. There are 174 of these just on this one line. 2,000 degrees. That's what's going on there. This did not take place until June. And the people here, as business heats up, they are thrilled. Neil, back to you. All right, Adam, thank you very, very much. Adam Shapiro.